All right, guys, welcome back to episode 10 of my Grand Forks trail building series. Today is gonna be a pretty sick day. Last episode, we worked on the jump on backseat driver, the jump with the that nice dirt landing. And then after I've been deciding, we're gonna build another massive wooden kicker and it's gonna land in that dirt pile down there. So yeah, it should be pretty sick. Let's get started. So for the, this next one, I'm gonna do the same as I've done for the last two ones, is build a wooden, a wooden lip, but um, this one's gonna be like the last one where it's a wooden landing or a dirt landing and that big pile right there is dirt so it should be pretty nice and I, this one's gonna be pretty big okay so i got some two by fours and stuff some nails i think I'm, I'm gonna do sort of what i did on the other ones where i found wood from the forest to make the bracing but just to make it a little bit easier i'm gonna use some of the this wood to help with that yeah the two um beams that will we'll put the one by fours on i'm just going to place them in the right spot nail it and we can put the one by fours on and then we got to work on the landing then this thing will be pretty much rideable it should be sick i hope it works after that one we come in and do this one so that should be super sick back here another day another day of trail building like last time we're gonna work on this drop the cannon like call it the cannon because it is like a cannon i think today we're gonna nail the beams in place and work on the landing and yeah okay so first things first what we're gonna do is i this this beam right here it, or like this beam that holds this so it doesn't go back it's still it's not really in the ground down here it's moving so i have a stake here and a sledgehammer I'm gonna sledgehammer this bang this in and then nail it to the this beam it should make it a lot stronger okay so we just hammered a stake into the ground and nailed it to this board so it's, it's very strong right now now I'm gonna finish debarking the logs and nail them on, and then we're gonna go work on the landing. Yeah. Okay, so I haven't nailed anything down yet, but I think we got the two posts in and I sort of started working on the trail before it, but I still have to debark it, but I'm gonna use this beam right here as sort of like, cause from that jump into this jump, it's kind of tight, right-hander. So I'm gonna have that. So the first section of, this, of the wood is gonna be a little bit slanted down right. So that should help a little bit. And then, yeah, and then it'll be straight after, but I'm gonna debark that, nail it, and then work on the landing. <laughs> Okay, so I started working on the landing. It's looking so sick. It's a little bit steep right now, so I'm just gonna make it a little bit like not as steep, a little bit flatter, but it's gonna be so sick when it's finished. 
I'm so lucky to have this big pile of dirt here. <laughs> I haven't nailed these down yet, but come on. The landing is right down there. It's so sick. It, honestly, it still looks a little steep. So I'm gonna keep making it a little bit flatter. Okay, so we got the landing down for now at least. So I think now we're gonna nail these two beams in and then work on the run-in right here. And then we'll be able to put the planks on, then we'll be able to ride it. It should be so sick riding it. It'll be, I think this jump might be one of the, probably might be the biggest jump here so far. Yeah. Okay, so we got the beams in place. I still have to do some more bracing. Like I got, I got one um, piece of wood I hammered into the ground and nailed it into that one. I want to do it for these two because one problem with this is it's so it's so weak on the end. Like those pieces on the end are really weak. So I don't know what I'm going to do about that. I'll have to figure something out. But we're almost finished. It's looking so sick right now. It's looking like an actual drop or a step down canyon or a, a cannon okay we got some wood we definitely don't have enough one by fours to cover this whole thing but we can at least start right now covering it <laughs> These are these are the only one by fours that I have right now, so I have to go get some more. But see how the first couple ones I made them sort of a little bit slanted? It's just because from that jump up there to this jump, it's it's like a tight right hander. So I made these a little bit slanted, so it's a little bit smoother going onto it and easier. Then it'll be super sick. Just then we're just gonna add more one by fours up, and it'll be finished to be ready to ride. <laughs> Okay, so we just worked on um i just worked on the run-in the jump or the step down put some dirt here and i made the landing a little bit mellower it's not as steep so it should work a lot better so now i'm just gonna put some more boards on it and then make the run-in a little bit nicer and then we should be good to go okay we're gonna take a take a break and do some riding sorry we're gonna do old rock bob and then it'll drop. And then okay, shit's up. Hardest tech trail here. <laughs> Holy. I went way too fast into that. No, you can't go fast into that.
Holy crap. Yeah, here's one of my super sick shoots. Oh, I got a real Hey, let's do jump line. So we got a bunch of wood here for the new drop step down, the cannonball. So yeah, let's get right into cutting and putting this wood on and then we should be almost finished and we can ride it. Just did some work on the um, entrance to the um, new step down. Made a little bit of a bank berm here. Looks super nice. Now we just have to nail all the boards down and it should honestly be pretty much ready to ride. So yeah, it should be super sick. Stay tuned. <laughs> Okay, so we're almost finished cutting all or nailing all the pieces of wood. It's just right at the end here. This last piece of piece of wood from the support to the end is very weak. And a couple days ago I nailed this beam right here. And then I'm gonna put this piece of wood, nail it in the middle, and it's just gonna be a little bit of extra support. It's not gonna do a, it's not gonna like be like full like a big piece of support, but it's just gonna help it from this from like snapping off. So yeah. Okay, so you come down, built up the berm like I said, and here's the jump. I did some work right down here. I also put these cool um, old logging equipment, old machinery equipment on, on it just to look cool. This is supports, and there's the landing, and yeah, this is the jump. Okay, so we just finished the jump. Right, we're right now going to go do a lap on Saddle Lake just for a little bit of warm up to get me ready and then I'm going to send this.
So yeah, hope you enjoy. Sort of. Some sections are gnarlier than other sections, but just there's some sharp corners. Okay. Hey, made it up to the side of the lake. Oh, yeah. Oh. Gnarly deer right there. Things get a little off camber. Ah, let's try to ride down this. Oh. -ho. <laughs> Where am I going? Maybe should have done that, but that was pretty sick. Back on trail. Woo! Deer up there. I was not smart. I'm okay though. I was not smart. Okay, that was definitely not smart. I should have not hopped that. But at least for now I'm fine. <laughs> and yeah, it's the end. Okay, I think I got this. <laughs> Looks pretty good. Ah. I need to work on this running.
Okay, so we got an excavator. We did some. He did some sick work. He made the lip a little bit landing a little bit closer. Dug this big pit and he made a little little pile of dirt there because maybe we'll build another jump. But yeah, now we're gonna shape this up and maybe we'll finally be able to ride it. Look, it's so smooth here. It looks so cool. Yeah. It's all the same, but you push the landing in a little bit, a couple of feet in. I think I might want to make the landing a little bit lower to the ground, but then we're going to put a roller where that pipe is, and then way over there is a lip, so we're going to have another jump, and it's going to be super sick. So stay tuned. Okay, so it's the next day of the big mega build with the big new drop and the lip, and right to, right now we're going to work on the this a roller here. And then we're gonna ride it, try ride it, and then figure out where we want the landing for that lip right over there. So we made a little roller here also did some drainage because there's a pipe underneath this because the water will come go around and through the pipe maybe and now i think we're going to try ride it for the first time and see where we want to put the landing for that lip yeah so before i do the big jump i'm just going to do a warm-up lap on jump line Perfect. Okay, let's do this. Holy. Okay, so this time I'm going to try to do it again, but I'm trying to go even faster because I did case it a little bit. But other than that, it felt pretty good. Okay, so. I just did the jump and we put some sticks down over there to figure out where we want to make the landing and we're going to put the landing right in between or right at the first stick and yeah we're going to start get, putting bringing logs over there and then putting putting dirt on it and then yeah
Okay, so this, I made a little shark fin right here. And this one, it's just temporary for now. I think next time I come here, we're gonna build something sick after this jump. But yeah, now, but it's super, this thing rides so well right now. Okay, so we're here another day, another day of working. Today's our last day. We're gonna, so I right now wanna work on this roller right here. I wanna make it bigger. And then we're gonna do a bunch of riding and we're gonna test out that new landing stuff. So yeah, stay tuned and hope you enjoy. I've been trying to add dirt to this roller here because what it used to sort of be, it used to be sort of more of like an like a triangle where it would go up and then it'd be a sharp down and you would get a little bit of air time. But, but, but more, putting more dirt on this side made it a little bit smoother and it's a little bit better, but it's not fully perfect. Okay, so this is a full lap top to bottom of the new improved um, backseat driver jump trail. Let's get it. Damn, that's so much fun. I love that. Okay, so this jump is, is 20 feet. Okay. Then this one is 24 feet. So we made this jump two feet smaller, but it's still the biggest jump here. Super sick. So yeah, that's episode, that's the end of it episode 10 of my mega build or my mega build here in Grand Forks um, we got, did a lot we built the, uh, um, the new biggest jump here and another jump and yeah that's in the video hope you like the video please like subscribe hit the bell and stay tuned for next week and yeah stay tuned also for um, my next Grand Forks trail building episode where we're probably gonna continue this line and build another jump and yeah and so on